Uh, continue on. Gas and groceries. Um, cap prices on all of those. Just do that. But you won't. Personal property is things you use. Empty homes that are owned by, like, a real estate investment company are not using those empty homes. They keep those homes empty because they're an investment for other people's portfolios, for other people's, like, stock options, or for other companies to, like, invest in those things and then sell them when the prices are really high. Buy low, sell high, like playing the stock market. Personal property is property you use. You will, you personally use. Private property is something that you own that you can either rent out or you own in the factory that you need employees to work for. We anarchists and communists and socialists are not about like the reads of shipping everyone's toothbrushes. That's gross. That's your own toothbrushes. You use it. What we want to take over is the toothbrush factory so that we will make toothbrushes according to need and if everyone has their two uh, everyone has two toothbrushes and there's no further need to make toothbrushes shut off the machines or repurpose those machines for another purpose and i explained this to like a conservative co-worker he, he, he's kind of a trumper um and he's like if they shut up the machines that's terrible what's that terrible those people don't have to work they don't have to like pointless and make way too many toothbrushes that aren't going to sell because everyone has like two toothbrushes. That's the thing with capitalism, and the capitalism, the capitalist owns that factory to make those toothbrushes or whatever else to sell them because they're making those fruit those toothbrushes for profits, for their exchange value, not their use value. Oh, but if they just if we just is have like a totally different society that's a social society. Is that we only make things according to need, then we won't pointlessly make way too many toothbrushes that people don't use. Google's image search new car graveyard. I explained this yesterday in my stream as well, too. The problem with, like, uh, capitalism's overproduction is that, like, it cannot stop and shut down production. Because it shut down the production, oh, people don't have jobs and can't pay rent. So even at like a new car, even at a car factory that is making a new car each and every year. Why do we need a 2024 model of a Ford Focus? What's wrong with the 2023 model of a Ford Focus? And so they're always making those new cars and giving it out to like uh, car services like sell, but not all those new cars like sell. And so the, those new cars could be used by someone that doesn't have a car. But they can't afford the car, so they get sent off into, like, a new car graveyard. And there's several of those things. And they just rot there. But, oh, but, like, the thing is, like, even if, like, the, uh, the car manufacturers stop making those new cars, then all the way down the supply train, there are people that will lose their jobs. The steel workers won't have to produce as much steel because, like, there won't be as much demand for the steel. And then, again, they lose their jobs. And, like, in this society, you have to work in order to, like, a, eat. Or have, like, pay rent. So, there's a constant overproduction, unnecessary overproduction. It's also part of, like, compulsory work. It's part of unnecessary compulsory work. All right. And continually perpetuating the thing. That's why, Kirok, I don't think we all have to, like, work 40 hours. All, all of us that are able-bodied they have to work 40 hours in order to, like, maintain society. Because there's a lot of work that we do that is not uh, needed. And our society doesn't need rent because, like, then everyone is housed. And, and gets and, and gets what they, they need to live. Uh, and they can have some whatever luxuries that they, they want and to have whatever leisure that they need. Yeah. The only time that we have to, like, figure out, like, okay, not everyone can get this. If there's somehow, like, a scarcity for, like, that sort of thing. But these are probably, like, extreme luxuries. I not everyone's probably going to get the highest advanced like computer as well too, or the GPU as it were, because also I'm interested in like ha having an anarchist society where it's just like things are sustainable as well too. Oh, we are not destroying the environment or making the environment inhospitable for us for a hundred years now, uh, by con constantly like mining coltan or something like that. 
And we should also look ethically nine coal town as well. We're not doing that now. We're definitely not. Uh, so maybe, uh, but like the thing is also, which is like some liberals have a hard time understanding. It's like, do anarchists build roads? Well, why do we need to build roads now? We there's plenty of roads built right now. Even David Gray pointed out this mug. This mug was built once. I don't have to build a mug every day, or get a new mug every day, because this mug was built once, and then I just wash it over and over again. We don't need to build them. Uh, maybe there will be like times where we have to like build more houses as well too uh let's see youtube you're not showing me the other messages um okay and zal also said and a lot of a lot of people become disabled through all the work that they do especially for corporations like amazon tesla that don't give a fuck about the workers rights um many of my friends are concerned about me for the amount of hours I'm willing to work in order to try to support Joanna Roberts, uh, Phoenix, uh, Joy Fine, Lean Deer, Nasaneko, and Lidquin. Um, because one of my friends did work like double shifts to doing just security. So uh, she was doing just a walking around. But uh, constantly taking on double shifts of just security work, just walking around, did broke her body. And she's now disabled. Uh, and the only reason that she's able to have housing uh, right now is because of a friend that like happens to have a good, well-paying job, a computer programmer, and welcome that their their friend into their house because they had an extra room. So, Carol, like, I do not agree that the uh, the concept that like we cannot have personal property without private property because also the concept of private property like only started existing in like what as early as the 1400s didn't we have personal property and stuff before that i could be wrong within like a pr private property like started became a concept but things around the 1400s because that's like when like they, in fact actually Lin Quinn actually they trained to be like a real estate agent at one point and had to like learn about the real estate laws and like those real estate laws go the way back to the 1400s in the uk uh, uh, the two treaties are a thing from John Locke as a sort of classic British liberalism. Uh, where was I? Okay, I'm just going to start again at this paragraph. When the pandemic crushed the supply chain's prices and for everyday items from food to gas to airfare to went up, but after supply and bottlenecks eased and like many companies didn't lower prices in line with falling costs. It, what mechanism is there for those companies to lower prices? Do those companies have to lower prices? Is there a cap on the prices that they can charge? If there's nothing preventing them from raising prices or keep prices at a high level because people are used to it because of the pandemic or something like that, then there's they're not going to lower prices. If you believe that companies should lower prices just because it's the nice thing to do, you believe in benevolent dictators. Of course you believe in benevolent dictators, Democrats. You believe you will, you could be the benevolent dictators, and you will be the benevolent dictators if we elect you. Uh, continuing on. Um, President Biden will keep calling these companies out for like price gouging and holding them accountable when they like, don't pass on the savings on the customers. How is else Biden's going to like help How is Biden going to continue to like hold these uh, uh, these companies accountable? Is he going to wag their finger at them? Because it seems like, or just like again, it, 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 Biden is going to continue rolling his rolling his persuasion check, thinking that like it works in D and D, probably works in real life. He's going to ask the companies nicely to roll their prices. He's going to call them out for like cross gouging, and if he's, there's nothing substantive behind what his words is something like that. Sorry, actually speak louder words. That's something my dad taught me. And that's why, and that's why I say, based on the Democrats' actions, I don't care about the words, I care about the actions. Based on the Democrats' actions, they're kind of not for us. The Democrats, they just are also center-right. They're right-wing. They are the conservative capitalists. 
They are the no change party. They don't want to change things. They want to keep the status quo as this. Again, Biden said to Wall Street in 2020, nothing's going to fundamentally change. Pretty much for Wall Street, nothing fundamentally has changed. And so, and so that's why the we have the so that's why the Democrats the Democrats are actually the conservative party because they are the conservative capitalist party that wants to conserve the status quo. The only the, of the two viable political parties in the USA, the only party that for change is that the Thugicans, and they want fascist change. The reactionary fascists that want a change to be like worse than it is, more terrible. <sighs> And the liberals are going to like uh, browbeat us into like voting for Democrats and say and blame us for like why Trump went if like uh, because we didn't vote hard enough for the Democrats. Uh, hey, Kate, uh, hey, Kate, hey, Kate, how are you doing? Uh, I'm just going to call you Kate, uh, Kitty Inc. Kitty Inc. Uh, to lower prices, Democrats will also keep working to both, uh, to both supply, fix supply chains, and promote com uh, competition, especially for essential items like gas and groceries that the fans depend on. I don't. I get to why they're all about competition, while too believing that like supply and demand will like reduce prices, and like I understand, and some of those are arguments of competition being good. Um, but it's just like I think there should be like either a cap on. That's good. Uh. I, I'm doing so-so because I'm reading the Democratic Party's, like, uh, platform and getting, like, irritated by the Democratic Party's platforms. I'm not going to read the Republicans' Party platform. I'm not going to read the Republicans' because I'm not going to promote fascism. Even if I'm going to critique it. Um, uh, let's see. I think I can finish off the reading the, this paragraph and then go, go to break. Hey, because, like, okay, if they're essential items, how about either you put a price cap on that, a permanent price cap on them, or you provide them for, like, Americans. But at most, if they are going to provide, provide that for Americans, they're going to provide Americans, like, a coupon or, like, a, a gift card for us to buy those things. Uh, and only for those who are deserving, too. Anyway, uh, I'll finish this paragraph. Uh, though the record... Uh, uh, Energy production of clean energy, oil, and gases were there. We lowered prices at the pump for American families. The administration also like raised nearly 200 million barrels of gasoline from the strategic petroleum and North, North Sea like gasoline supply reserves, and is like lowered gas prices by uh, up to like 25 cents per uh, gallon and more in certain markets, particularly in the Midwest. Uh, and by making cheap their E15 ethanol blended gasoline available each summer. And the administration has cracked down on to prevent collusion by oil companies that could raise prices more. Okay, I'm going to finish this section and then like, we'll take a break. Uh, the person also knows the frustration and the fear that the high gas grocery prices it can cause. And he's like, taking actions to lower costs for hardworking families. And he and his like, a team has like, met repeatedly with like grocery uh, CEOs and business leaders who agreed to like uh, spring... And this bring to lower prices. Uh, the administration is also cracking down on price gouging and promoting competition in agriculture, making everything from fertilizer to like poultry processing and more affordable for farmers. Uh, the president also signed into law the bipartisan. Again, I I raised my eyebrow at the term bipartisan. Um, uh, Ocean like shipping like reform act, which lowers like shipping prices and help like Americans farmers export their, their goods. Trump and his MAGA allies have fought these uh, changes all the way, siding with big oil and special interests over working families. Instead of like standing up to them, uh, Trump wants to like give them like another tax uh, credit. I I guess it's just like a winning strategy for like Democrats go orange man bad, orange man bad, orange man bad.